Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Art and welcome to another video. <clears throat> this video is a slight rant and um, yeah, it's going to be a ranty video. It's, okay, so first thing is I want to tell you, well, if you don't know, my faith, uh, this is a comic book rant, okay? That's what it's about. I want to talk to you about what I just witnessed finally. My favorite character is Spider Man. It's always been Spider Man since day one. I mean, to tell you the truth, for some reason I gravitated towards Spider Man instead of Superman or Batman. Or even, or even Aquaman, Black, and the Die. But anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. One of, and the thing is, Spider Man is one of the kind of comics I always grabbed. Even when the writing was super great, I read it. And when it was super low, I still read it. <laughs> One, the first time I stopped reading comics, and especially Spider-Man, was around the mid-2000s. But before then, um, J. Michael Stravinsky started writing Spider-Man. He's a great writer. He's a very great writer. He created one of my favorite TV shows, Babylon 5. And he wrote Spider-Man, and basically he... Spider-Man was basically a scientific style character, guys. But what happened is that he created a mystical totem to attach to. It was mystical kind of thing to make the spider do the science thing. Go figure. And guess what happened? Out of that came the Spider Verse. Well, I don't think he created, I don't remember he created because I kind of stopped before then, but then I, I started picking it back up again, then what happened was, no, actually I missed the whole Peter Parker going to Mephisto, making a deal with Mephisto to annul their marriage, so that way no one could figure out he's Spider-Man anymore. And I'm like, who wrote that crap? But anyway... I started picking. I started picking up comic books about a couple years ago, about maybe like 2019, maybe 2018 or 2019. I started picking up on a regular basis. Now, one thing I can tell you is that it was really great, and it, then all of a sudden they decided to cancel the book. They stopped the book. Why did they stop the book? Because they say, you know why? Marvel says, you know what? The sales are lagging, so what we're going to do, we're going to stop the book and redo it with a number one. Start it off with number one again. By doing that, you broke the chain of legacy. Right now, Spider-Man has, Amazing Spider-Man has 900 issues that was published. It could have been a straight 900 issues. But no, greed worry and you start stopping again then you know start stopping again and so you know naturally that's what's been going on so guess what now I forgot who wrote the last section of Spider-Man I thought it was kind of interesting some people thought it was too much to me it was like a buddy cop story so what happens Spider-Man reissued started over with a number one issue again and what happens, it says that, guess what? Peter Parker's life has changed. He's not with Mary Jane anymore. I'm like, what? Wait, wait, hold on. One of the themes of Spider-Man is his relationship to Mary, with Mary Jane. They screwed it up once. They brought it back, and that's what the fans want. And now they did it now. This guy, Zeb Wells, is a great writer in some respects, but this one, he just totally, in my opinion, he just crapped the bed. The after, it started off with the after effects, and then what happens is you slowly start building to what actually happened. Now, mind you, I'm a couple months late. 
see these are the last four books I'm a couple months late because I kind of you know I kind of wanted to read like four or five at a time you know what I'm saying you know try, you know try to build up some stuff and that way I could read four or five at a time you know things like that <sighs> so Finally read, finally read number 23. This is the reason why Fantastic Four don't like him. Mind you, him, Spider-Man and Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, has been technically best friends since the 60s. And they had each other's back. So the question is, why would Peter Parker have some beef with the Fantastic Four? Well, some strange god-like creature is stalking him and they transport him and Mary Jane to an alternate dimension and he was gonna come kill Spider-Man so she used this gadget so there was a gadget to bring him back home and he, but you can bring him back one so Mary Jane put him back to save him and I could see the back but see what happens when Spider-Man came back he was only gone for like a day so what happened was, in order to get back to that dimension to defeat the creature, he basically stole a fission generator or something like that from the Fantastic. He stole it. He was involved with these two supposedly WMDs, basically two big explosions. They found this, you know, and the funny thing is, Captain America was like, come on, son, we'll help you. No, you gotta save Mary Jane. Fantastic Four, we can help you when the new No, I gotta save Mary Jane. And the funny thing is, so he stole, he breaks into the Fantastic Four's place and stole their vision device. Totally, it's kind of, and you no know, funny things, I could understand the reasoning for him to do that, but to me, that is the most un Spider Man thing that you could actually, he could actually do. If it was Ben Riley, yeah, I could see that. But then again, you got, but you know, in a way, to me, this that's not Spider-Man's character. But you know, hey, what do I know? I'm not the guy who wrote it. Twenty-four, he teams up with Norman Osborn. They build a little new super suit with the fission generator and some other stuff that he stole from Stark and everything else and blasted himself to that other dimension that destructed the god like creature guy thing and and of course the guy dies but he comes back but what happens if he comes back he finds out he's been gone a couple years like four years so time is sort of distorted so what happened is when they first got there, he was only gone, and he came back, he was only gone for a day, but this time, it has been a couple days. I'm trying to get back there, it was a couple of years there. So, what happened? Issue 25. What happened, part of the story is Mary Jane surviving for four years with this dude holding 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 on hopes that Peter's gonna come back sooner or later the person that he's with that she's hanging out with they fall in love find two children start creating start you know taking care of those children and they basically she says basically she says this is my family. So when Peter saves, so Peter comes back to save the day, and she's like, um, Peter, I'm with this dude now. They get back to Earth. To, they get back. And basically, she basically gives them the rundown of what happened, and basically says, Peter, instead of going to the next step with you, I'm going to go with this guy and we're going to live our life together. Sorry.
This is a variant edition. I was gonna rip the living crap. I was gonna rip this. These three, I was going to rip these to shred. I was gonna rip them to shreds because this is not the kind of spot. Now, now here's now here's the thing. One, this is not the kind of Spider-Man story that I want to read. To me, this is not Spider-Man. And remember the, remember the not my president vibe? Not my Spider-Man vibe. Okay, I got it. Not my Spider-Man. But then again, you got to, but I had to take a step back and say, hey, there's a story to be held here. So what's the story? Well, you know, he ends up with the black hat. Mary Jane has powers. How does she get these powers? It explains it in the book how she gets powers. Mary Jane with powers. You can't make this up. Now the most anticipated issue 26 where they said one person on here would die. Of course it's Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. So what happened was the demon guy dude comes back, creates some havoc. They, all of them start to all of them start to try to whoop some ass. The two children disappear, got absorbed by him, finds out that the god creature that he was working with, Mary J's husband, was the related, I don't guess is the son. And even though she knew it, she didn't tell Peter about it, naturally. Because if she would have told Peter about it, he would have, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But one thing I do respect is that Peter punched the crap out of him once. I do respect that, but you know, but I'm like, okay, fine. Here's a question. Why keep Mary Jane in the book? She's not part of the story anymore. If she's not with Peter Parker, she's not part of the story. Unless something else is coming up. So what happened is Ms. Marvel arrives on the scene, helps them out. She decides to Peter Parker was like, look, protect Mary Jane at all costs. Then all of a sudden, the Fantastic Four appears because they see this big giant dragon that appears out of nowhere. Comes out the ground and starts destroying wreck and shit. Fantastic Four comes up and he's like, okay, dude, we was always on your side. Yeah, you was kind of a jerk, but we was always on your side. Okay, I got it. Now, tell you the truth. Now, now, think about this. There's some people in my life right now. Uh, they very dear to me, but sometimes their actions, words and actions, I'm like, dude, you're a jerk. And the thing is, I get it. I get that dynamic because I, I see it in my everyday life. But in the confusion... Miss Marvel and Mary Jane split up. Demon guy come demon guy pretty much shows up, does some stuff. Son shows up, does some stuff. Everybody gets and what happened? He stabs Mary Jane and realizes it's Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel gives her life to save Mary Jane. Now the now the funny thing about this. Funny thing, I just read the I just read the latest X Men the other day, and one of the things about Cyclops found out that Miss Marvel died. Oh, why is that important? Why is that important? Well. I don't know the true story about this, but I think Miss Marvel's a mutant. 
I think so. I think she's a mute. Because there was a there was a cover of uh, the Hellfire Gala again and Tony Stark and Emma Frost gets married. And in the background you see Miss Marvel. I thought she was an inhuman. Is she part mutant and inhuman? I don't know. So it's, if so say for example, if she has a re resurrected pro now here's a problem. Now here's a hilarious part. During the A versus X again, or in humans versus Avengers and X-Men, Captain America died and he got resurrected. So for some reason Cerebral had his mem has has a copy of Captain America. The weird part about it is that he gets reborn with his shield. So if Captain Marvel, sorry, if Miss Marvel gets reborn, that means either one, <coughs> she never wasn't a human and she's now a mutant, which sometimes comics kind of make it fluid that way, especially since the TV show, she's not an human, she's technically some kind of some kind of magic mutant kind of thing and uh, which makes this mute especially since the Marvel's movies coming out in the end of this year which Miss Marvel is going to be a part of that so and so the idea I'm trying to figure out why are you making a big deal of this person when she's going to come back because she's going to have to show up when the movie comes around Yes, but anyway, so basically, right now I'm gonna tell you that for me, Spider-Man sucks balls. It sucks major balls. Now, if you read Spider-Man, you might you might like it, and that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me, this book, and the thing is, I don't want to drop it because this is my favorite character. Right now, Miles Morales is the best Spider-Man character. And his stories is kind of whacked out right now. So I'm like, oh my God. You know, uh, I understand that a writer and a creator wants to put their own special spin on a character. I understand that. But come on. Come on. But well, anyway. That's just me ranting because I just finished these about an hour ago. Well, I actually tell you the truth. I finished these about about six o'clock in the evening. Cause I, I you know, after I ate dinner, I read these and then I had to try pick up my niece to from work and drop her off at her, at her friend's house. I just filmed a a um, bigger unboxing. And I'm doing something kind of different with this one, so I'm hoping you will like it. I'm hoping you will like it because I, I kind of like I kind of thought of the idea, and to me, this is all it's kind of cool. But hopefully, you like it too. So, what it is, it's Wednesday night, get ready to go to bed, and um. See you in the next one.